Hi, DJ Dino here from Jinxer Games, and this tutorial is about how you can connect prefabs to other game object FSMs. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing I have here is a set game object, and I'm setting this game manager to a global variable right here. And I can't drop this in directly in editor mode so that's why i need to do this at runtime and this is just a limitation from unity then in prefab one i'm going to create this prefab and that's it then on the prefab i have a weight i don't need this weight it's just for the tutorial purpose i'm using this then I'm using set FSM string. So my game object I'm selecting is here with the global from game manager. Uh, so that would be here game manager then. And I'm gonna set the FSM string on this variable name. So on the sender and I'm setting the value to prefab one. After that, I'm sending an event by name. Uh, I'm using sending event by name because if I just use send event, I can't uh, find the the events unless I set the events to global. And I prefer not to set uh, global events. I always try to use less as possible global events and also um, variables. Uh, that's why I'm using send event by name. So this is going to send also to the game manager here, which I got here from the global. And then it's going to send this event, set text. Then I have my build string here. Here is my variable sender. And this is going to build together. And then I'm going to set this text. So let's play this first. So I have set the global and as you can see here, uh, game manager is placed in it. Then I trigger prefab one. And as you can see, set text was triggered by prefab one. And let's go to the prefab here. So as you can see, it all connected. Now you can see the game manager is here connected. And then it sent an event to here. Okay, so that's one way that you can do. But uh, if you only need to send like only to a game manager and not to many other objects, then this is a good way. If you need to connect to uh, more game objects, FSMs, then I wouldn't suggest this. But if it's only for game manager, I think this is a good way. Okay. Now there is a second way that you can do this, which is the least good way. I find personally, but many people use this way. So let's show you here. So I don't need this uh, set game object anymore. And because I'm not using a global. But I'm going to create this prefab 2. And let me see. So yeah, prefab 2. And the first thing I'm doing in this prefab is find game object. So I'm finding this game manager. And also I'm finding this text. And then I store this in this uh, variables also. Game manager, game object and text game object then i have a wait and then i have my set text and so i'm using this local uh, variable now because i got this already from here so i got already the text object here into that variable and i'm using that here now and then um i have my send event by name again and i'm gonna send an event to the game manager and saying that prefab 2 is done. And that's going to be here. Then I have again a wait. And I'm going to set another text. So let's play this.
And then prefab2. Text was set by prefab2 and prefab2 send an event to the game manager. Okay. Now the third one is my favorite and um, I will show you what I'm doing here is um, creating this object prefab3 and I'm also storing this object as created object then I'm gonna use set FSM game object and I'm gonna set this game manager and also this text into the variables on prefab3 so I'm gonna set my game manager and my text here and then um, see and after I have placed these I have a wait and I have send event to activate my prefab here so it's gonna activate then then I have my text here and um, I have again wait here then I have a send event by name so uh, the text here then I have my text here and uh, I'm using this uh, local variable which has been set from the game manager here in here. Uh, important also I have set this action sequence uh, just to be sure that the object is created and uh, this uh, action is done um, because it there is a possibility, maybe, I'm not sure, but uh, that this would be created and that uh, at the same time it's setting this FSMs and uh, it's not really created yet and might give some errors then. So that's why I set the sequence just to be sure. Um, so I have a wait, I have the send event and then on the prefab uh, set text wait and I'm sending an event back to the game manager and then prefab 3 is done and I set another text so let's play this and uh, prefab 3 wait text has set by prefab 3 and prefab 3 send an event to the game manager and I will show you here. So I have activated and I have my text here and my game manager into the variables. As you can see, they are connected. And um, this is a good way to uh, connect multiple game objects to your prefabs uh, because um, you don't need any globals. And also you don't need to use this find game object and find game ob object is actually a little bit expensive to use uh, CPU wise. So that's why I also try to avoid this. That's it for now. And uh, I hope this was helpful for you. Oh yes. Um, one more thing. So if you want to put these controls here, you just uh, go on your events here and you just click this inspector on and then you can uh, trigger these here which can be very useful for testing things thank you for watching if you like the tutorial please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can support my work by becoming a patron at patreon or donate me with paypal or purchase my assets on the asset store. You can find the links in the descriptions below. Thank you for watching.